Okay, everyone. Basically, if you're not serious about your business, do not watch this video. Okay, for those of you who are serious, watch this video. Basically, you have minimal amount of time to get ready for the new year. And throughout the month of October, I am going to be able to walk you through what you need to do to get a marketing plan and program into place. So, even though this video that I'm leading up to isn't super exciting, I get down to the nitty gritty and I'm gonna give you the downloads and everything that you need to make it all happen. So enjoy and just know that there's even more coming. I have an entire program and course coming your way super soon. So enjoy, let me know if you have questions. Okay, bye guys. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Bryce Root of The Root Group. This is the, the next video in the series. Uh, last time around we told you about how to create that event calendar. Uh, events made up of, maybe it's National Donut Day and you're a donut store, so that's a, a big time opportunity for you. Maybe there's certain uh, products or services that you're trying to push during a certain time period. Um, maybe it's your anniversary. Maybe it's, uh, maybe there's a holiday parade that goes right by, right by your doorstep. It uh, could be a variety of things that you will be able to leverage and kind of um, kind of wrap your marketing plan around uh, that both impact your business as well as your customer. So with that said, um, I like to really map things out. I'm very visual. So right behind me here is where you fill in uh, your calendar, all those different things. Uh, I worked with the client the other day. This entire board was just filled with all the different things that impact his business and his customers. So with that said, uh, the first thing that you want to do after you fill in that calendar is really prioritize your business goals. So in this instance, take your number one business goal for 2018. And in this case, I have an example of increasing Q1 lunchtime sales. So if you are a, a restaurant or a deli or something like that, that might be a goal of yours. Uh, maybe it's uh, you're instituting a new hours. Maybe it's uh, launching a outdoor patio uh, to your restaurant. Uh, maybe it's launching a new line of classes uh, for your fitness studio. It could be a variety of things. I would advise being as specific as you can uh, in this process. So the second step is all about determining which target customers are associated with that business goal. So is it soccer moms? Is it foodies? Is it um, CrossFit fanatics? Is it uh, retirees? Who exactly is going to be your target customer associated with that with that business goal? And this is where the importance of developing uh, a kind of a profile for your target customers, your optimal customers you want coming through the door, is so important. So they've already told you, if you've done your homework, they've told you, uh, just the words have flowed right out of their mouth, uh, so you can hear it straight from them uh, as to what they read, what events they go to where they congregate, where are these densely populated gatherings of your target customer. So basically, you are looking at which target customer is associated with that business goal. And then the next step is developing a marketing plan, uh, kind of a marketing schedule month by month. So this is where all that information that you learn from that target customer comes in handy. So first, before you do that though, uh, you look at each month, say we're, look at, we're looking at January here, the easier thing to do to make this all just a little bit simpler is to come up with a campaign or a theme uh, that goes along with that month. So January for many of you might be all about New Year's resolutions. So maybe there's uh, something like that that you can fill in here under theme and campaign. And for each month you do that and it just makes it a little bit more easy for you to come up with ideas for uh, social media for outreach, strategic partners, events to be involved with, all those different things. It just makes things a little bit easier. So next step is to kind of figure out what tactics are you going to use. And as I said, this falls back on those conversations that you've had with your target customers. They basically told you where to advertise, where to be, to, to find them, and to kind of get their eyeballs focused on you. So this is where you list the tactics. It could be an email newsletter, it could be social media, it could be uh, partnering with influencers, it could be events, it could be sponsoring events, it could be a variety of things that you're gonna implement. Now you can get into the, the minute details if you'd like. So if you write down email newsletter, 
write down what the content needs to be for that email newsletter. Maybe it's uh, news, maybe it's events. Uh, what are you going to be talking about in that email newsletter? So you can get that detailed when it comes to this plan. The second section of this uh, marketing tactic section is writing down how much money that tactic costs. So if you're sponsoring an event or sponsoring an organization or buying tchotchkes to give out on National Random Acts of Kindness Day, this is where you write down how much money and then you also estimate how much time it's going to take to implement that marketing tactic. So basically you're going to be able to put all this information into the marketing tracker which I'm supplying to you, which is uh, if you look below this video, there's a download uh, file that you can download it that you can use to basically put all your marketing into one place to make uh, your life a little bit easier uh, and to keep all your marketing uh, organized, uh, hyper organized if you will. So basically you do that for each month and you fill in the marketing tracker and all of a sudden you've built out a marketing plan that's based on reaching your target customer. You no longer are reactive to all the sales folks that come your way. Maybe it's Google, maybe it's Yelp, who knows who it is uh, that has that marketing solution for you. And you're not going to be sporadically throwing money out the door and at the end of the year adding up like all those different expenses that fall under advertising in your P&L. So this is a way to be super proactive and know what your marketing budget is to actually message and communicate with your target customers. Um, up till now, you may have been kind of guessing and everything was all the assumptions. This is meant, this whole process is meant to be very strategic in everything that you do. So you're super efficient with your money, resources, and your time. So that is all for now. Be sure to download the tracker, play around with it. There's everything in there to keep you super organized uh, from your budget to handling PR, handling events. Uh, there's a project management tracker in there for you and your staff. There's an action calendar for what you're going to be doing each day of each week and each month. So enjoy. Uh, message me if you have any questions and I'm here to help. So stay tuned. Much more coming and there's uh, always time to prepare for marketing. But right now you have that small window that's closing uh, because the holidays are right around the corner. So let me know if you have questions and enjoy. See you soon. Bye-bye.